Alrighty, who's ready to do some taxes? We're on the day four tax unit review assignment. Today, if you open this up, it's not in a slides format, it's just on a Google Doc, and it's just gonna give you scenario number one, and then you're gonna scroll down to scenario number two. This is in the format of exactly how tomorrow's quiz is gonna look. Please ignore the 2020 on these tax W-2s. I forgot to update those to this year, 2022, but you get the point. So in order to complete this assignment, since we're doing two different taxes, please click twice on this 1040 tax form, open up and make sure you have two, oops, two blank 1040s, and then also click on the second attachment to open up your tax table so that it's ready to go as well. Once you've got those three things open, we're ready to start our taxes. Did you know that Harry Styles' first job was actually at a bakery? This is a real scenario here. Um, Harry Styles is going to be our first person that we're doing the taxes for. We're going to be doing income of 15623 and there's the federal income tax withheld. Notice, notice the social security number right at the top. So let's go fill in the tax return. Please check single, Harry Styles, 55856. Six, seven, eight, nine, I think was the social. Yep. And then we're going to say that Harry lives at 5000 Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles. No apartment number. nine zero zero two eight zip code notice i'm using the address of where harry lives not the address of his workplace next i go look to see if any of these other things need to be filled in um, there's no spouse there's no foreign country name needed there's no digital assets or bitcoin no one can claim his as a dependent and not blind and no dependents i'm now going to go to the w2 and look for box one to fill in line one it says 15,623 and 47 cents. Fifteen six two three forty seven. All right, remember you can round up or down if necessary. Because most people just have W-2 income for most of their lives, uh, we do not need to fill in any of these other pieces of information. And this same number is gonna appear on several of these lines. And again, it's your preference. Do you wanna put in the zeros for everything else or not? It's up to you. You do not have to have them, but we're adding and subtracting zero and getting the same number repeatedly in these four spots. Then number 12, notice the bubble off to the left from the 12, it's telling us to go grab this standard deduction for a single person, it's 12,950. Yes, that's the same number we used on the first day for doing the single person's taxes. Then no other qualified business income, so we add those two together and get that again. Now we do the hardest math we have to do on our taxes, subtract. So 15, 6, 2, 3, and 47 cents minus the standard deduction. I'm getting taxable income of 2,673 and 47 cents. I now go to the tax table and look that up. So that's 2673. And because we're looking for a single filer this time, we're just looking in the first column for $266. All right, again, that 266 comes from looking up this number, the 2673, on the tax table. Okay, so now no other amount from any other schedules, add lines 16 and 17. So the 266 appears again, no children for Harry, no amount from schedule three, add lines 19 and 20, subtract line 21 minus zero. So there you go. Now, no other taxes, 
and this is your total tax. So again, when you've got no other weird scenarios, no kids, no other things coming out of that, no other taxes, you just have the same number four times. Now we go look at the W-2 to see how much federal income tax. So really, from this W-2, we only look at box one and two. This is gonna be 6, 24, and 12 cents. And then zero here zero here, so 6, 24, 12 again. And no other numbers there, so 6, 24, 12 again. So now, oops, sorry, wrong line, guys. That one's a zero. All right, and because that number is bigger than the other number, subtract it and it's our refund. So subtract 624.12 minus 266. I'm getting 358 and 12 cents. And I want that whole amount to be refunded to me in this bank account. Please fill in a fake routing number. Check the box for checking, a fake account number and sign and date your return. Make up an occupation for Harry Styles. He was a baker's assistant for his first job. Sign Harry Styles, date 4523, and you are done with this single tax return. How'd you do? Are you getting good at these? Please save your return right now. Or you could delete all the info.